Hello, hi everybody. Phil Laguerre, Remax Aloha Homes. It is early morning here in Hawaii, and guess what? Your real estate agent in charge, yours truly me, is in the office early. Opening up, getting things ready to roll. Already had a cup of coffee. Well, I'm setting everything up. I did some training this morning already. You know, being a part of the Remax Aloha Homes family gives us uh, great opportunities to get training in our uh, continuing education and professionalization training as real estate agents, learning all the uh, ins and outs uh, of being a great real estate agent, especially in these uh, interesting times that we're living in right now with the challenges that we, that we face and that our, our buyers and our sellers face uh, trying to sell their home during COVID or post COVID uh, coming up and, and buyers trying to get in right by that dream home during these uh, interesting times. The interest rates are really low. I know you probably hear this all the time. You get advertising in mailers in the mail about interest rates have never been lower, right? Buy now, sell now. Well, you know, that's kind of true. Uh, I lo was looking at the, uh, our daily, uh, uh, interest rate advisor uh, sheet that uh, PACRIM puts out. They put out a weekly trends and a daily daily advisor. And the uh, rates are in the 2.5 to 2.8 range for uh, VA or even or uh, conventional loans. And of course, yeah, there's conditions that apply for that, you know, related to your credit score and um, uh, your debt to income ratios and stuff like that, but that's the that's the greatest rates that we have seen in years. Uh, I just locked in to refi my own home for a 2.5 interest rate, and I'm not sure I can get could get that now. I think it's 2.8 is what I could get today if I was to uh, refi, you know, start the refi process. So we're seeing the rates slightly go up. They're creeping up uh, this week uh, from maybe last week or a week before. Uh, but, you know, they may go right back down again next week. Who knows? Uh, some of this stuff is dependent on outside influences like the election and, uh, you know, trade embargoes and, you know, politics and things like that. But... Uh, by and large, the interest rate has been pretty stable and very low in the mid two range, if you qualify, uh, for several months now. So I've been sending out uh, these public service announcements to all my friends and family uh, and Facebook uh, contacts and stuff, just to let them know, uh, hey, you know, if you have a mortgage and your interest rate on that mortgage is three and a half or higher, refi. You know, get out there and contact a couple of lenders and see what uh, interest rate you could get if you refi that loan. You know, you're not losing your equity and all that, uh, depending on how you, you know, structure the refi, you're actually protecting that equity and you're creating a lower mortgage uh, payment by refining if you can refi at a lower rate. And what I do is, um, here's an example. So I just refied and I'm saving about $600 a month in my monthly mortgage payments. What am I gonna do with that $600 a month that now I can put back into my bank account because I'm not spending it on paying down uh, interest or you know, on, the, on the mortgage, right? Well, I put it back into the mortgage so I had been uh, previously putting in an extra 500 a month or so on my mortgage payment, which was at a higher rate, right, to go towards principal. So, and then I end up making maybe an extra payment a year, plus I put in the extra 500 a month, right, to buy down the principal. Right, you know, there's interesting ways you can do that, right? You can do bi-monthly payments, which gives you uh, an extra payment a year. 
uh, on your mortgage, right, by doing it that way. And uh, you can add to your payment uh, a certain amount and just mark it for the principal. So the key thing is, you know, don't worry about paying down the interest. You want to pay down the principal because that going forward is going to reduce your loan uh, rapidly and you pay interest on what your principal is each month, right? It's called amortization, right? That's how uh, that works. So the longer, the longer you pay on your mortgage, just paying the, the regular payment, right? Over time, you're paying down the interest, right? At a higher rate and then the, the principal at a lower rate. But eventually when you paid off the interest, then you're, or pay down the interest, you're paying more on the principal and less on the interest over the, over the years, you know, 10, 15, 20 years later. Well, instead of doing that, right, just letting the system do that for you, which is a very, which is going to guarantee you're going to pay the loan off in 30 years or uh, whatever, you know, however long you've got your loan for. If instead of doing that, you you make your monthly you make your mortgage payment right and it's doing that but you also add in an additional amount that goes that's earmarked just for the principal so what you end up doing is say you have a 30-year mortgage and you do that uh, every month let's say you put 500 down uh, as an example right i'm not a financial person but as an example i will end up paying the loan off right remember the loan is uh the bank gives you money, that's the principal, right? And then charges you interest on that principal, right? On that loan. But if you pay the principal down, then next month, the interest is going to be a little bit less off of what you have left on your principal, right? And then next month, you pay the principal down a little bit more then it figures out your interest rate, what it's going to charge you for interest for the next, the following month, and it's a little bit less. So you end up over time paying less and less money uh, in interest or wasting money on the interest payments as you continue to buy down the principal, which means maybe instead of paying that loan off in 30 years, you might pay it off in 15. And wouldn't that be cool? You know, you're that much closer to getting full equity on the home you own, right, by paying the principal down a little bit at a time. So this is my little tip for folks today. I don't, uh, I'm not making any money. I'm not a lender. I'm not uh, the financial guy. I'm not making any money off people at refi or anything. Uh, this is just something that, you know, I like to make people aware of because uh, I'm surprised that sometimes people just don't, don't realize that they're just making their payments and uh, you know is letting that run and and don't have the knowledge about refining and that I have been learning over the years for buy, because I buy and sell a lot of homes myself right or I purchase a lot of homes and then uh, over the years I uh, bought homes in Maryland Florida Alaska uh, now here in Hawaii and uh, refied them or sold them and re refied them, sold them, rented them out, you know, and then moved back into them, fixed them up and then sold them and those kinds of things. And I've, I've done really well in my life. And that was as a Marine or as a DOD civilian, you know, not making a whole lot of money uh, myself in my, you know, especially during my military career, but still able to uh, leverage uh, good loan uh, lending practices to uh, buy and sell homes uh, during my military career too. So now that I'm kind of retired, I'm retired Marine and retired from the Department of Defense, I'm uh, doing what I love to do. I've always enjoyed uh, playing around with real estate and I like meeting people and helping people, believe it or not. You know, the money's not too bad either, but uh, uh, that's not why I'm in it uh, anymore. The, my why is really to do good things, uh, to be the exception, to be a leader 
in my community to help people achieve their dreams. And if I get a little bit for that, that's great. But uh, that's not what drives me. So that's why I'm making this short video today, uh, giving you a few tips some things that I've learned over the years and uh, being in the real estate uh, uh, industry, if you will, right? Both as a, as a, a consumer and, and now as, as a real estate agent. And so uh, I encourage you all to check that out. If you have a mortgage, if it's a three and a half or higher is the, is the mortgage interest rate, look at refining. All right, and if you need any assistance with that, uh, feel free to contact me. Um, again, I'm not a lender. I'm not, I don't do that for a living, but I can put you in touch with the people that do that, right? And uh, Remax Aloha Homes, we sell more homes, we buy more homes, or help people buy homes. We help people sell their homes twice as much as the next real estate uh, business. You know, twice as much we are very successful you'll see our balloon out there you'll see our uh, principal brokers uh, for sale signs and open house signs everywhere that's uh, mr. Ray Prozik he's our sensei he's our guru right for uh, what we do in Remax Aloha homes and when we're not out working for you as our client we're training which is what I've been doing this morning I put in a half hour of training and I got another training session going at noon today and that's how uh, Ray takes care of his people you know by the way we're not paying for the training the training is uh, part of the program to help us all be successful and be good at what we do right because it's all about uh, the max and remax uh, being the best being the most qualified being successful and helping others to be successful too all right, well, with that, I send you much aloha and mahalo for watching and listening. And let me know if I can ever help you guys. All right, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, I have the Facebook page. Uh, uh, my contact info is there. Uh, alohahomes.com is our uh, web uh, page. I have my own personal web page, the Hawaii Real Estate Guy, right? Kind of jazzy. Check that out right? Contact me. Let me know if I can help. All right. Aloha. Ahui hope.